Nigel, that was uh, pretty brutal, wasn't it? Yeah, we didn't expect anything less. Uh, the quality that they have out there and the gulf between the two teams, uh, we actually feared it could be more. Might be a stupid question, but did you play badly tonight? No, I don't think we did too much wrong. Two or three of the goals, um, certainly we could have done a bit better. Uh, a few of the goals have just dropped between three or four yellow shirts you know, to a blue shirt, but they're in the right place at the right time more often than not. So I don't think we did too badly tonight. When did you sort of fear that it might get a bit messy? When the draw was made and when we beat Middlesbrough. Is there any regr not regrets of beating Middlesbrough? In a way, do you no. wish you hadn't gone not here all. tonight? Not at all. Uh, we've made history with the club getting to the last four of a major cup competition and it wasn't about tonight, it was about the achievement of actually getting here and being in a semi-final. Once we saw the uh, other three teams, we were always going to be in trouble. Uh, it was just to what degree. Any positives? Yeah, we kept going, we, you know, right at the end. You know, the crowd are shouting, we want ten and our lads are fighting to stop them getting ten. That's a positive for us. Young lads got on the pitch uh, and we can't give them or buy that sort of experience that they've got tonight. Uh, some of the younger players that were researching to left back 18 years old. Uh, you know, hopefully that will give him a taste uh, of what he can have later on in his career if he keeps progressing. Was it one of your worst moments in football? Yeah, it's not very nice when you're sitting there and uh, you know the goals are going in. There's absolutely nothing we can do to stop it. And what did Pep say to you at the full-time whistle? Uh, he said, come in and have a glass of wine. Uh, I hope he's got more than a glass. <laughs> a couple of bottles, hopefully. I would have hoped so, yeah. He said he's got some nice Spanish wine, so we'll, we'll go and join him. Uh, but his players, you know, are magnificent. and They're capable of doing that to Premier League teams, not quite maybe uh, the extent of the scoreline, but, you know, they win six and things uh, here against Premier League teams. And, of course, you've got to go through this all again in the second leg. Oh, can't wait. Uh, <laughs> we've got a few important games before then. Uh, not, no more than Gillingham on Saturday. Uh, so I want the lads to take any frustrations they have tonight uh, out on Gillingham in uh, just, what, two and a half days' time, which I think will be our ninth game in 28, 29 days.